Guess where we're sitting? We are sitting on Ashley's brand new design, a $75 farmhouse table that we built with only framing lumber. Want to see how we built it? Let's rewind the tape. Here's the lumber that you need to build our $75 farmhouse table. 10 2x6s, 3 2x4s, and one 4x4. You also need some metal construction straps, decorative pieces, some screws, and some wood glue. You're only going to need five tools to build this table. A table saw, a miter saw, a Craig jig, a sander, and a drill. That's it? That's it. <laughs> this is fine. We're building this table with basically a pile of framing lumber. But the end goal is that it doesn't look like a pile of framing lumber, so we have a little trick for that. We like to rip off this rounded edge right here. It's so easy, you rip it off with the table saw, so you're gonna take about an eighth of an inch off of each end. Mm -hmm. And in the end, it's gonna give us a very custom, professional look. Here's the original rounded side, and this is the side we've already run through the table saw, nice and straight. One of the things we love about this table is that it uses really thick, chunky legs. Those can be really expensive to buy and kind of hard to find, so we actually make ours ourselves. It's super easy, it's called laminating, and all you're gonna do, we've already ripped off these edges from the two by sixes, made them five inches, and you're gonna just put a ton of glue on them, and you're gonna make a two by six sandwich. Okay, and clamp it up. All right, when these dry, we're gonna use a sander and we're gonna sand both sides to make sure that the seam is really nice and smooth and then we got some chunky table legs. Like a $3 chunky table leg. Once we've ripped all of our boards down, we can cut all of our boards to leave. And guys, hopefully you pick a partner that's not just like mine and over here on social media. making pocket holes in a lot of our boards. You can figure out where to put the pocket holes by downloading the plans. Click the link. Pocket holes! Woo! Okay, we have all of our cuts made and we are about to start assembling. And Ash has planned this entire table on her computer, but this is the first time we've actually built it. So, so we've got it on our phone. We'll see how and it goes. we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Watch the flat. Hopefully, mm -hmm. it's all according to the plan. That's right, right? Making memories, not mistakes. Right. <laughs> but we're kind of the guinea pigs for the plan, so by the time they get to you guys, they'll be perfect. That's right. We're going to start by assembling that plank tabletop. And we're going to do that with two and a half inch pocket hole screws on each plank. All right, you can see right here where we butt these two pieces together, we've got a super smooth seam right there that no crumbs are going to get stuck in. This is a kid-friendly table, which makes it a mom-friendly table. You can see we've got pocket holes running different directions on these boards. The pocket holes running this way are gonna attach the planks together, and then the pocket holes that are running this way are gonna attach the breadboard. I see it. 16. I mean, I see it down here. Oh, uh, too, too much. much. <laughs> oh, I think that's perfect. That's it, right there. Okay. Once we've got the planks all put together, then we're gonna measure and cut those breadboards to fit perfectly to size. Tabletop is done. We're moving on to the base. And, Nothing. It's and not we that heavy. It. <laughs> Gosh. That's a pretty solid tabletop right there. We started by laying everything out, kind of like a puzzle. We wanted to see where everything went, and then we'll start assembling. Start by attaching the legs together with those apron pieces, and then follow up with the supports. Even though our joints are gonna be rock solid with those pocket hole screws, we're still using glue just to make it extra sturdy. All right, now we've got the frame done and we need to add the runners between the legs. Runners. All right guys, so right here we have our aprons, we have our supports, and now we're about to add runners. Little vocab lesson for you. All right, we've got the frame done for the table and now we're gonna put these runners that are gonna stretch between both legs. The first one is the short one. Mm -hmm. We're gonna attach that with two and a half inch pocket screws and it's gonna be flush with the top of the leg runners. Yes. And then follow up with the longer runner. We'll clamp it in place and we're gonna attach that with stack screws. We did this so it looks like a big chunky runner going through the middle of the table and it gives the look that these that this board is cutting into our leg runners. So chunky is the theme here. Yes, this is a chunky play. table. We like chunky. Now we're setting the base on top of the tabletop. The tabletop's upside down, and we're going to use those pocket holes that we drilled in the aprons ahead of time, and we're gonna attach the base of the table to the top. That's it. Table done. Except for the cute stuff, the decorative stuff, the important stuff. Now flip it back over. Look, that good. is sturdy. Sand it, get all those edges nice and smooth, stain it, and add cute hardware. 
Not bad for our first time to build this ever. Yeah. Right? Definitely. $75 of framing lumber, mm -hmm. some cute decorative hardware, an afternoon of work, and we've got a dining table. A farmhouse dining table. A chunky farmhouse dining table. Want to build all the pieces in this house crash? Stay tuned, we're releasing a new build every week this month. You're not going to want to miss it.